back to another video for video review for you. Um, this time we're taking a look at another set of KFC cassettes. Uh, this is the Hands of Steel instead of Hearts of Steel. Uh, black convention exclusive repaints um, of B-Box and Bird and Bomber. Um, they are completely identical except for the color schemes. Um, they are completely black and they do have red eyes and that's the only difference. But um, got these guys at TFCon. Um, they might have been at Belcon, I'm not sure, because I didn't go, but they definitely were at TFCon, and I'm probably, I'm sure they're probably available at other conventions too, but these were, I actually got these guys before the, uh, the retail colored release, so, not a bad little set, we're gonna take a look at them in, uh, in beast mode, uh, I just showed you the transformation for the retail version, so we're going to Skip that real quick, and we'll be right back, and we're going to show them off in uh, Beast Mode. Alright, so here we have these guys in their uh, Beast Mode, and uh, as you can see, they are very, very, very black. The weapons are black, everything about them is black, like I said, except for their eyes, which are red. I do really like the red eyes. These just kind of have like a less black face. No, it's a black face. It almost looks silvery when you're looking at it. But uh, it's definitely black. Red eyes. Same thing with this guy. Red eyes. I do really like the red eyes on the black figure. So yeah. Again, nothing else is different about these guys. So uh, again, I will be right back. We're going to combine him up and we'll just take a look at him real quick in combined mode. Alright, so here we have this guy all combined up. And as you can see, he is very, very black. I believe he does still have the red eyes. But they're very recessed. So camera's really not picking it up, and they're really hard to even tell. They actually are red. But yeah, there he is. All combined up. Very cool looking. Um, I actually didn't know this guy was going to be on sale at TFCon. I just saw him sitting next to the G2 jump starters, and I was like, yeah, why not? Anything that's convention exclusive, I have a tendency to just buy, because I'm probably never going to see it again for a reasonable price. So. Whatever. He's very cool. And I do really like Heart to Steel. Even though he had nothing to do with it, but whatever. It's a cool little addition. You can go with my uh, Heart to Steel Seekers. So yeah, there he is. And just a quick comparison. Here he is with the retail release. The retail coloring. It's called G1 Retail Coloring. So yeah. Totally the same. Just the only difference is color. Um, I don't really recommend trying to hunt this guy down because I don't know how hard he's going to be to find. I honestly haven't looked. And like I said, I only saw him at TFCon. That's the only reason I picked him up. I didn't go hunting for him. I never seen I have never seen him online for sale, so make of that what you will. Um, I would definitely recommend picking up the G1 colors just to even just to play with them. I think he is worth it. Um, if you like cassettes and if you like G1 style cassettes, he's totally worth it. If you're at a convention or something and you see this guy for a reasonable price, and you like this guy, pick him up, why not? Pick him up, why not? But, it's up to you. I definitely recommend at least picking up this guy. So, like I said, there is one other coloring that's the SG coloring, Shattered Glass, and I don't have it, and I'm not going to get it unless I find it for a reasonable price, and I haven't seen it at a convention or anything, so... If I see it, I might pick it up, but for now, um, even if I just got the regular one, I would be I would have been cool with that. I totally didn't expect to find this guy. So it is what it is. So yeah, this has been the video review for uh, Keith's Fantasy Club, KFC. Uh, this is the Hands of Steel version of uh, B-Bomber.